Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Maven, and today, oh, yes, today we are gonna be taking a look at over Os Otark. I uh, I don't know what is that. A supercar added as a part of Doomsday Heist DLC. So let's get right into the guide, shall we? For so. For the price of just uh, two million dollars, you can get a car that looks very similar to the RE7B, a car which had the ability to go really, really fast at one time in its lifetime. But it also had a variety of full-body liveries that one could choose from. That feature is absent from this car, but it still has a huge variety of parts and body kits that one can play around for with for perfect racing car. Everything from the front and back spoilers, side skirts to the front hood can be changed on this thing. It's a very nice car to play around with in this shop. So this car, as you may expect from the visuals alone, features a high grip handling style, able to begin to lift and ride with ease. This is one of those calming type of cars, you know, the ones way we can focus more on car's maximum turn speed rather than worry about the car's maximum grip. The car has a quirk which with practice allows one to effectively boost out of a shot and brake corner with a lot of wheel spin. This is pretty difficult to control but if done right you can get yourself a hair spin corner with quite a bit of speed and thanks to this car lightweight body this quick helps out a ton to do it. I simply held down the accelerator non-stop, used the handbrake to force the real wheels to stop turning and uh, turn the car in desired direction, let go of the handbrake and the rear wheels would rapidly spin given me that the desired boost. It didn't happen all the time but when it did it felt great. So as for the Osra, Osra, I still can pronounce his name. Well, I guess I'm glad that I didn't bother buying one of those as it's pretty much obsolete at a, at least in straight line run matters. So, ultimately, what do I think of the old tag? Well, if you want a high speed performance supercar that is great for racing as well as looking sweet, then I can say that I'm glad I bought myself one of one for this review. It's an extra few hundred thousand dollars compared to the Wagner, but if you can overlook that then I think this car is fun for the whole family in any case let me know what you guys think about this car in the comments below and hey if you enjoyed this short video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for loads of more videos coming to you very soon till then bye bye